We want to find the antiderivative of log x using integration by parts. So what we will do, we will write it as log x is just one term. So we will write it like this, log x times 1 dx. And we will say u is log e x. So d u is 1 over x. And dv is 1 because this one's antiderivative we know v is x so v will be x of course and we will write the formula for antiderivative v d u is equal to u v minus sorry uh, u d v that's how we write it u d v minus v d u it doesn't matter but we have designated d v as uh, this one so yeah this one is this is our dv is 1 so this is our log e x dx basically because du is uh, dv is 1 dx basically so that's it uv becoming u is log e x and v is x because that's the antiderivative of 1 and then minus v is x times minus v is x times uh, du 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 is 1 over x this one derivative of log x and dx so sorry this one this is becoming log e x minus log e x times x of course uh, I will write x in the front so and this is becoming dx so x log e x minus x plus c which is the integration constant so this is the antiderivative of log e x uh, we can do a quick check using uh, by differentiating this one and see if we can get log x we can do that let's do that so when we differentiate this one it is x times differentiation of this one which is this uh, and plus log e x times differentiation of x which is 1 and then this is becoming minus 1 c is of course 0 so this is this one this one so 1 plus log e x minus 1 these two getting cancelled so that's the uh, this is the derivative so this is our antiderivative of log e x with the integration constant and we have used the integration by parts to find it that's what we have to do when we are given that we have to find the antiderivative of log x